it's here. From here to here. It's more correct. So now take something long and straight. Men lägg tillbaka den pennan i så fall. So, now we have a long center line. Yeah, and now we're gonna put on the stuff we're gonna mount to it. So, we're gonna make sure it doesn't get too small. This is the folder foldable ladder. Just take that off. Take it out. What is the Upside down. Take it out. Fold it down. Really nice feature by marking out the center line of this so this one is 29.5 so that's let's see, 14.25 or 14.75. Double check, so my calculation is correct. Yep, yeah, 14.75. And it should be the same here. Yep, 14.75. I am to put in on. So now we have a separate of that. This is the light bar we're gonna put on. Papa. 50 centimeters. We know the move move at two. Tina. And that's the big one and a half. And I want it to be here. Pointing forward, of course. At the end. You can log a awesome head.
Tell it, eh? So, now we have a template for the bowsprit. So, now it's just to bend some pipe. Yeah, Hector is gonna double check all the measurements, so it's correct. It was. Yeah, he says the measurement is correct, so. Yeah, Jack says the measurement is good also, so. Now it's just to bend some pipe. And cut some wood, make support and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna bore you with how to bend pipe because I did that two episodes ago, I think. I'm gonna leave a link to that down here or somewhere. But I'm gonna come back when I have bended this pipe. Let's go outside. Yeah, I know I told you that the next episode is going to be about the making of the new soft top, but yeah, I have about five hours of video to sort through and edit, so I'm going to throw in this instead. The next episode is definitely going to be about how to make a new soft top, because the templates are made and they are adjusted and the lines is checked and triple checked so they will fit perfectly and yeah I can show you them. There they are. So the next episode is gonna be about how to make the templates and episode after that is gonna be on how to adjust them and draw the lines for you know windows and stuff and how to do um, yeah the next episode is also gonna be on how to make a straight line by hand uh, gonna show you a little trick about that because as you know nothing is straight or in level on a boat so everything is needed to be done by hand and I'm gonna show you how to do a nice line by hand. That's that for now and as you can see my rig is working overtime with upcoming videos so yeah I'm gonna let you go back to on how to make a bowsprit with a foldable ladder and with some big searchlights that's gonna come in handy if you don't already have it subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you don't leave a comment below tell me why yeah let's get to it yeah now it's time to lay out and cut the boards and the easiest way to do it is just to put the boards straight like that but then we're gonna have small triangles here in the beginning and in the end and I don't like that so I'm gonna make all the pieces a little bit like a triangle so we need to measure from here to here inside to inside and then we need to take a piece of wood and a tape measure and continue on this inside line about out to here draw a straight line and put that line on the inside here measure the distance from here to that line make a mark from here to the line make a mark measure from the mark to the mark and now we are good to go. So I wanted eight pieces. So the distance from here to here divided by eight, that's 9.6 centimeters. And the boards I have is 
So that's close enough. And do the same up here from that mark to that mark. Measure that distance, divide it by 8. Then you end up with a piece of board that's like that. And then it's just to continue with these boards. And when you have all of them and they fit, then it's just to draw a line on the inside and cut all the boards from that. Then you end up with something like that. And when you are doing this, like I'm doing eight pieces, and actually I, I thought I'm going to do eight pieces, it ended up nine pieces. But no matter what, start from the inside, do that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, and so on, until you come into the center then do the center piece measure from here to here and from here to here so it's the same distance and the same here and then you can fill in the last two and as you can see these two are smaller why it ended up like that, I don't know. Maybe someone that knows more about math than I do can leave a comment below and tell me what I did wrong. But as you can see, it turned out quite well. After I cut it out this line, I took my template, cut away the line of the bow of the boat, Put it on, and uh, yeah, and as you can see, I made it a bit longer than I first thought. And then it's just you have this straight line that we did before. Measure outside, outside, and here to be inside five. So it's you know not like this. So it's straight. Then it's just draw a line. And then cut the pieces one more time and as you can see they are in a bit of different color so this three on the outside and the center one is just some pigmented oil and these two is just clear oil so yeah I think it's looks all right yeah now it's about finished so that's how it's gonna look on the boat and as you can see here is some pieces of wood I'm gonna take a piece of this stainless steel pipe mount it where these woods are just press down the ends Mount it underneath, one here and one here, and a row of screws. But I've run out of pipe again. So, yeah. Mount this, drill a hole straight through, and put in a bolt. That's not rocket science, so I'm not gonna show you that. But. How you mount this on the boat is different from boat to boat, so I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So this is the top side, and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look on the underside. So that's gonna be about there something. The 
light bar is gonna be somewhere there something like that and this is where it's underneath and we're gonna have a piece of pipe here so and this is the bow of the boat so it should be like in this angle let's do something so yeah this is upside down so that's the bow of the boat and then i'm just gonna put in a pipe not this long but maybe something like that as a support one here and one here yeah. that's all there is to it but if you have a different kind of boat than mine different size different shape it's gonna be different for you so yeah this is how I'm gonna do it so yeah And yeah, as usual, I've run out of materials, so now it's just to play the waiting game again. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the mounting process on the boat when I get everything to do this. Like I said, I'm not gonna do that right now, but this is how I'm gonna do it. How you do it is up to you, and yeah, I'm no expert, so yeah. Take it for what it is. It maybe looks big, but as you see, the ladder is just fitting. <clears throat> and to give you some perspective, yeah, and as you can see, there's one foot, there's another, so it's from the bow of the boat, it's about one and a half feet, so that's not much. And the width of the widest part is a little bit more than two feet, so yeah. You can stand on it, but not more, so it's, you know, normal size. So that's that for how to make a bow sprit. The rest I'm going to show you in a different episode when we start mounting the bow sprits, the lifelines and other stuff like that. But yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting for supplies. So stay tuned, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. I've done the first steps on how to make a new soft top. So that's gonna be the next coming episode. It's gonna be at least a three step process. Make the template and then starting to cut and sew the soft top fabric. So see you next time.